Hey everyone, it is Crystal with Pineapple Papers and I have a Color Rush Studio Design Team project today. So I'm just showing you, so we get two of each paper and so from one of the papers I fussy cut out the rainbow and the back side of the rainbow paper is this beautiful plaid. So I wanted to kind of show you what what kind of I did um because I did fussy cut out that rainbow off screen so I am going to gut the plaid <laughs> because I need to use it again and I'm going to add some white cardstock now I'm gonna rough up the edges of the cardstock with this little Tim Holtz distress tool and then I realized it was taking a little bit of time. So I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm going to distress off string. So I did the distressing and then I decided to distress the rainbow pieces as well. So all of those pieces are now distressed. And because the base of the plaid paper is like a white background, I decided I needed to ink the edges of my white cardstock so it would pop off a little bit more. You get the texture of, of the distressing, but then with that ink, it just adds, adds a little more oomph. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue that down, and then I'm gonna do a little bit of mixed media. So don't get rid of your packaging. <laughs> um, so I just went ahead and added a couple of distressed, well, this one is Scattered Straw, I believe, uh, Distress Ink. And I'm just using the packaging technique and then I'm doing a few splatters. And then I decide I want to have some of that corally color that is also in the kit. So I am going to use Abandoned Coral and I just wanna use it for splatters. Now, I haven't quite decided on my design at this point, and so honestly, there's probably not enough mixed media. It's pretty much going to get all covered up, um, but either way, it was fun to do. <laughs> uh, so I might go back in and add a few more splatters of the abandoned coral and uh, the straw, but honestly, probably not. So... The way that this rainbow was placed on the paper, it was kind of coming off to the side and I decided that I wanted to put it in the middle of the paper. So you can totally do that. You can see uh, you just turn it. And so I went ahead and placed all of those down and then I have the cutest clouds um, so I picked the blue ones, the little shaker clouds. Oh, I just love them. And um, I'm going to put those at the end. So like the rainbow is kind of coming out of the clouds um, is my thought process at this point. So I'm going to glue all of my rainbow pieces down and I'm trying to decide. You can see that it goes off of the paper. I'm like, do I want to cut it at the plaid paper or do I want to cut it at the white paper? So I'm gonna start first by cutting it at the plaid paper and seeing how I feel about that. So you kind of get an idea of what that looks like. And then uh, after that's done, I decide, no, I want to have the rainbow just go to the edge of the white paper. So I'm just taking my scissors and I'm just trimming that against the white paper, <laughs> I'd actually uh, stuck down that piece, but that's okay, it came up pretty quickly. And so there is my rainbow with my cute little shaker clouds. Love, love, love that. So this is my photo, it's of my husband. It's uh, a picture of him flying. And I'm going to use that as my, as my photo today. It is a four by four, it's from an Instagram post. So I do want to bring some of that plaid forward that that kind of is my thing I'm I'm noticing. And uh, so I went ahead and put the photo down on the plaid paper and then I realized that 
I really wanted a white border to kind of make it pop off that plaid paper just like the centerpiece uh, pops off that plaid paper. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to rough up the edges. I'm going to ink the edges and then I'm going to back it in the plaid and the plaid I'm also going to rough up the edges and I believe I ink the edges of those as well. Let me look. No, that's a lie. <laughs> I only inked the white, which makes sense because I only inked the white on the base paper. So I'm going to offset my photo to the left a little bit so you can see it there. Um, then I'm going to start with some embellishing. So I have all of the fun little pieces from the kit as well as the add-on kit. And then I have fussy cut out uh, at least half a floral paper at this point. And I've also fed out, fussy cut out um, some of the butterflies. I don't think I've quite done a piece of paper uh, but I think, I'm thinking for an upcoming project, I'm going to need lots of butterflies. So I may take some time and fussy cut out maybe a whole sheet of that. Um, so we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how this, this month goes. So you can see those fussy cut florals. I'm going to basically do kind of a diagonal embellishment from the top of the photo down to the bottom of of the rainbow. I also fussy cut out some of the hearts from the floral paper as well. So I'm going to add a couple of those in. And then I was going to do some of the fussy cut out butterflies. And then I realized I had these beautiful butterflies that were wood veneer. And when I was at retreat last weekend, we uh, went to Hobby Lobby and some of their pins were on sale. So I got a few of them and off screen, I colored them. So um, I do like them colored. I honestly am a huge fan of plain wood veneer, but I, I am kind of proud of my little butterflies. So definitely let me know in the comments what you think. And then I just felt like it needed a little something else. So I'm going to add this white pom-pom trim to the side of my photo. I have put my title down. It says, Talk to Me Goose. So I'm pretty sure everybody knows what that is from. Um, if you don't, leave me a comment because um, we need to chat. We need, we need, to, we need to talk. <laughs> So uh, make sure you head over to the Facebook group and the Instagram. Also, uh, head over to the shop and get your kit. If it's your first time, use the Chris code CRYSTAL10. That will save you 10%. Make sure you subscribe to the Color Rush Studios YouTube channel. And remember to wear your pants.